Jalen Foster nominated for the Bridge Builder Excellence Award, this year's Heisman, high school Heisman Trophy winner. He is an incredible football player. He is getting it done in the classroom and in the community. Welcome to the South Carolina Football Hall of Fame family, Jalen Foster. Thank you. Nice to be here. So uh, let us get started here without further ado. I know you're from that great uh, mecca of football, Greenwood. Tell us what uh, high school you go to. Um, I go to Emerald High School, Greenwood, South Carolina. And what position do you play there? I play running back and free safety. What is it that you like best about the running back position? Mm, I like running back because you can do a little bit of everything. You can run, catch. You can just make plays. You can block. You can almost do anything, really. You're a playmaker. Yes, sir. So, so, And you said you also played safety on defense? Yes, sir. What's your favorite part of playing safety? What do you like best? Uh, feeling the alley coming down hill and hand. <laughs> filling up the alleyway with some heat. Yes, sir. So you can lay the, lay the pain? Yes, sir. <laughs> well, again, we want to congratulate you. We're out here celebrating, recognizing, and encouraging excellence. And, Jalen, you have been incredibly excellent in the way you go about your business, and we want to congratulate you and thank you for that because you're an awesome role model for other young men in your community. Let me ask you this. In trying to help some of these keys and secrets to success, I want to ask you, when you think about excellence, what do you think of? Um, when I think about excellence, I think about like taking that extra step, doing things so that people can know that you're a good person and like people can look up to you and everything that you're doing. So, so taking that extra step and what is it that uh, has motivated you to lead your life with such excellence? Um, really knowing that I can go, like, I'm in a position now to where like I can help my whole family out. So over time, really just knowing that like I can, wait, let me rephrase this. So like over time, like really just working hard and all my work at the it comes because I can help my family out in the long run. So like if I'm out here, like most people in this area, they just want to be in the streets, want to hang out every weekend. They not focused. If I'm doing that, I'm not going to gain nothing like out of it. versus if I'm going to school, getting good grades, studying, making good test scores. And then also being a good athlete on the field. I know in life, good things going to come with it. That's some great advice right there. So um, doing it, getting the hard work done is going to help your family. That's a great motivator, Jalen. And uh, let me ask you this. Do you have any mentors in your life, people that you look up to? Um, yes, sir. Um, a dude by the name of um, Jamar Crawford, he runs Next Level Organization out here. I've been working out with him, training with him for the last 10 years. Wow. So you got some good mentors in your life. And uh, t tell, uh, you know, we're uh, very proud of LaVon Kirkland here at the Football Hall of Fame here in South Carolina. He's been an incredible football player in college, the NFL, and now he's a great leader in the community. I would suggest that you and your peers are like protégés of LaVon Kirkland. You know, y'all are coming along and doing it right. Uh, tell me, You've got undoubtedly some some young men around you in your sphere that are looking up to you. What advice yeah. would you give to a young Jalen Foster protege coming to Emerald High School as a freshman to be successful? What do you tell um, them? Uh, the first thing I would tell them that like it's not all about sports. Like school is first because without grades and nothing, like you're not going to be able to go to the next level, which is college. So I tell them to make sure they come in strong doing their work, studying hard, making sure they're passing every test, and then everything else will come on. Good. School comes first and then and then uh and then the field. And how about in 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 just in football? How would you what advice would you give a young man wanting to succeed in learning to be great like you at the game of football? Um work. 
definitely work um I always do the extra because you can do you can do whatever your coach tell you to do but by doing what you're told to do you're gonna always stay average so you always gotta take the extra step and do the extra work i like that jalen so not only do anybody can just do what you're told to do you gotta take it a step further yes sir that's good stuff now LeVon Kirkland, uh, as I mentioned, he is obviously been very successful and he wants you to be successful. And this is your opportunity to ask LeVon a question. So at this point, ask LeVon, what do you want to know from LeVon Kirkland? Um, like transfer from high school to college, like in the classroom and like football, how, what steps did you have to take to be successful in doing it? Mr. Foster. Um, we got a guy named Mike Foster, as you may well know. So uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, the steps I took, you, you know, for me, it's just I, I was clear on what I wanted to do. And I was clear at a very young age that I wanted to play football at the next level. So I, I think that within anything you do, you have to have clarity. You have to make sure that you know exactly what you want. You can't just say, I want to be in shape. You have to really break it down. And I was clear about that. I wanted to play football on the very highest level. So going to college, I understood that there were certain steps that I needed to take. Like I had to make sure that I was academically sound um, going to the next step. I had to make sure that I took care of the time management that football is going to require you know not only that you have to uh, play football you also have to manage classes so i think time management was a part of it i understood that because like i said i, I was clear on my goals um, I, I think that you know you have to do the work as well you know whether it's in the classroom or whatever and, you know, also, I didn't really put a whole lot of pressure on myself as far as getting those done. I knew what I wanted, and I just kind of let go. I surrendered that, and I just did the work that was necessary. So, you know, if you're going to play football on the next level, it's all about time management. It's all about having that clear state of mind. It's also about having mindset. It's also about making sure you can pick yourself up when you're down. And then when you're really up, making sure you keep perspective. Fantastic, Jalen. Again, we just want to uh, congratulate you for the way you're living your life. And especially there in your community, you know, we need some good role models there that can step up and do things the right way. So thank you for doing that. Yes, sir. Thank y'all.